All right, good morning. Good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday morning. It is a day to rise up. It is a day to bless the Lord. It is a day to get excited about your faith. I hope you're having a great morning so far. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you had a great day yesterday. Uh, weather here was beautiful yesterday. I got to get outside, have a good run uh, in, the, in the nice warm weather, except there were 15 mile an hour winds. Where are these winds coming from? Why are they so strong? I'm getting a little bit tired of these winds, but good morning, everyone joining us today, wherever you're joining us from, California, Texas, Florida, uh, wherever it is for you. God bless you today. We are excited that you are here. Um, all right, we started this teaching yesterday about the fact that every Christian is called to function as a priest. That was God's plan from the beginning. His plan was not that a few leaders in the church or among his people would serve all of his needs. In fact, it's just the opposite. His intention is that every Christian, every follower of Christ is recognized as a priest. They, they have ministry. <clears throat> they have service to God. And we looked in Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 8 yesterday, and we saw three functions of priests. But before we get there this morning, I want to talk about the fact that, that all of you, if you're rising up this morning, wherever your day is at today, if you're a Christ follower, you are a priest to God. Uh, and we've done a disservice as leaders in the church by assuming that, that, that you know we serve the church, we serve God, and everybody else just watches us serve. That's not the way it is. You are called to serve. You have a role, you have a function, you have a purpose in God. And we are all equally priests, just with a little bit different functions. Exodus chapter 19, verses 5 and 6. Uh, God speaking to Moses, Now if you will obey, obey me and keep my covenant, you will be my own special treasure from among all the peoples on earth. For all the earth belongs to me, and you will be my kingdom of priests. Say that with me. Say kingdom of priests. You will be, God's people, my kingdom of priests. Um, my holy nation. This is the message you must give to the people of Israel. That they are all priests. That they are all called by God to serve Him. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses, I'm sorry, chapter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 5 and 9 says this. Um, you are living stones, he's talking to every Christian, living stones that God is building into his spiritual temple. What's more, you are his holy priests. Through the mediation of Jesus Christ, you offer spiritual sacrifices that please God. You are priests unto God, each one of you. The Old Testament says that God, God's calling a kingdom of priests. The New Testament says you are living stones building into a spiritual temple. You are holy priests. Verse 9. But you are not like that. You are a chosen people. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness and into his light. You are a kingdom of priests. God's called you out of the darkness into the light to demonstrate to people the goodness of God. So you have a role and a function. Paul in Ephesians chapter 4 says it a little bit differently. He doesn't use the word priests, but listen to what he says, verse 11 and 12. These are the gifts that Jesus gave to the church. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and to build up the church, the body of Christ. What's the role of your pastor? What's, what's the role of your spiritual leaders at the church? To equip you to do the work of ministry. Not to do all the work of ministry while you watch. No, to equip you so we all do the work of the kingdom. We all do the work of ministry. You are a priest, my friend. God has called you to the priesthood. So, what do priests do? That's when we go back to Deuteronomy chapter uh, 10, verse 8. Here's what we read. Deuteronomy 10, 8. At that time, the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the ark of the Lord's covenant and to stand before the Lord as his ministers and serve him and to pronounce blessings in his name. These are their duties to this day. Yesterday, we talked about the fact that we carry as priests the ark of the covenant. We carry the very presence of the Lord. We, we bring the kingdom of God because the spirit of God dwells in us. We carry his presence wherever we go. So like the, the priests who set up the, the tabernacle or the tent in the wilderness, that was a meeting place of God with the people. 
Everywhere we go, we set up a meeting place with God and people because you have the Holy Spirit. Every person, every conversation you have today is between you and, you, and the Holy Spirit's there, so you're connecting people to God. You, you are a tent of meeting because God dwells in you. Your role is to carry the very presence of God, the authority of God, the power of God, the victory of God, the healing of God, the presence of God everywhere you go. You are a priest carrying God's presence. Do you understand that today? You carry the kingdom of God. Everywhere you go, the kingdom goes because God lives inside of you. And you bring the hope. You bring the joy. You bring the peace. You bring the power. You bring the victory of Christ everywhere you go. And you connect people with that power. Well, the second thing he says in Deuteronomy 10.8 is that we are to stand before the Lord to minister or to serve him. That word serve is used in a number of ways in, in, in the Old Testament. It, it meant a, a domestic servant uh, serving a ranking official. It, it meant an assistant to an authority figure, like Joshua was an assistant to Moses. Angels were assistants to God, or they served God's purpose. Assistants to kings and priests to God. All right? Numbers, Numbers chapter 3 says this about, about the Levites. Verse 5, Numbers 3, 5, The Lord said to Moses, Call forward the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron the priest to serve as his assistants. They will serve Aaron and the whole community, performing their sacred duties in and around the tabernacle. They will also maintain all of the furnishings of the sacred tent or tabernacle, serving in the tabernacle on behalf of all of the Israelites. So they were to serve the tabernacle and then the, the ministry of God. That was the role of the priests. As priests... Our calling is to serve the desires of God. What, what are you supposed to be doing today? Well, you carry the presence of God everywhere you go, but you serve the needs and the desires of God. That's what priests did. They did the work of the Lord. They, they, they served in the tabernacle. They got everything ready. They served the purposes of God. I want to say three things quickly that that entails, three things that requires. Number one, that we are available. That we are available. We stand before God available to fulfill every desire that God has. We stand before the Lord to minister to Him, to serve Him. That means priests make themselves available to God. Are you available to God today? Have you made yourself available today to serve His desires? Is there an area in your life that you've refused to serve the desires of God? What is that area? You're not acting as a priest because the priest came and stood before the Lord in the tabernacle and they, they did all the duties, all the responsibilities. They served God with whatever he asked them to do in the ministry. All right. So number one, are you available? That's what it means to be a priest, to serve God's needs. Number two, that we have to be attentive to God's desires. All right. That, that means, first of all, that we are, we are aware of our need to worship God. We are, we are called to serve or to worship God. So we are worshipers. First and foremost, we come to the tent of meeting to worship Him, to serve Him with our worship, to serve Him with our love, our adoration, our praise, our thanksgiving, our gratitude. We serve Him as we worship and honor the Lord and honor His name. Are you a worshiper today? Are you serving God with your worship and praise and adoration to Him? But beyond that, you are attentive to the desires of God. So, so you're listening. As you go through the day, you're listening. Say, God, what do you want me to do now? Well, what do you have for me today, Lord? We are to incline our hearts to the will of God, to incline our hearts to his purpose. Are you, as a priest, standing before the Lord, attentive to what he wants you to do today? Listening to the voice of God. Who do you want me to touch today? Who do you want me to impact today? Who do you want me to share with today? See, you are a priest and you stand before him to serve him in worship, but then to serve the desires that God has through your life for the people around you. Number one, you're available. Number two, you're attentive. Are you available to God today? Are you attentive to his needs today? And number three, we are anointed or empowered to serve him. Did you know that? Back in, in Deuteronomy chapter 10, it says this, verse 8, we already read this, 10, 8 says, at that time the Lord set apart, he consecrated, he set them apart, he anointed the tribe of Levi as priests. So you are anointed by the Holy Spirit. You are empowered by the Holy Spirit. You're not just called, but you're empowered. You've been given the Holy Spirit to do the work and the service of God. 
Who does God want to touch today? Who does God want to encourage today? Who does God want to heal today? Who does God want to give hope to today? You have the empowerment, the anointing of the Holy Spirit as a priest to bring those things to people today. You're, you're available, you're attentive, and you're anointed by God to stand before Him and serve Him. All right, rise up, church. You are a priest called by God to stand before him and serve him, to stand before him and worship him, to stand before him and to minister to his needs. Are you ready today? I'm calling today uh, Minister to the King Wednesday. It's Minister to the King Wednesday. You're going to be available. You're going to be attentive. And you are going to be anointed with the power of the King to go and represent him everywhere you go today. You carry his presence and you, you're anointed by him to serve his purposes everywhere you go. No matter what you encounter today, who you encounter today, the anointing of God as a priest is on your life to heal, restore, reconcile, and bless them. What, what a great day today is. It is Minister to the King Wednesday. All right, we're going to pray for those three things right now. Availability, being attentive, and being anointed. You ready? Because you've got a busy day today. You're going to impact the world today. You're going to touch your oikos today. God is calling you to serve Him as you serve others today. Ready? All right, Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you that we are priests. That, that Lord, you told Moses that your whole kingdom was a kingdom of priests. Paul said that, that, that we, we serve you, God. You, you gave gifts to the church so that they would equip the saints to do the work of ministry. So, Lord, we are your saints. We are your priests ready to do the work of ministry, and we make ourselves available. Friends, tell the Lord this morning, I'm available. Just say, God, as your priest, I'm available to stand before you and serve your needs and your purposes. And Lord, this morning, as a priest, I'm called to worship you. I'm called to serve you. I'm called to put you first. I'm called to honor and bless and praise you today as, as a priest, as I come into the holy place I worship you, Jesus. I honor you, Jesus. And I'm attentive. I'm listening today, God. Friends, just take a moment and say, Lord, my ears are open to what you want me to do. My ears are open today to your direction and your calling. Lord, we want to serve your needs. We want to be your assistants today. We want to be those that, that hear your voice and walk in your ways today in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you today for the empowerment and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Just tell the Holy Spirit, Lord, Holy Spirit, I need you today. There's going to be people that need your power, people that need your touch, people that need your encouragement, people that need your hope, people that need your healing, people that need your deliverance that we're going to come in contact with. And we are priests carrying the very presence of God into every conversation, every relationship, every meeting place today because you've called us to do that, God, and we thank you for that. So, Lord, anoint us with the Holy Spirit. Breathe your breath upon us today, God. Empower us for your work as your priests as your servants, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on, everybody said, it is minister to the King Wednesday. You are a priest unto God. You're called to carry his presence. You're called to stand before him to serve him, to be available to his needs, to be attentive to his needs, and to be anointed to carry uh, his power into the world. What a great day today. You are going to change lives today. You are going to serve the Lord and minister to him today. Worship him, friends, today. Worship him with gladness. Serve him as a priest. Do the work of the tabernacle and extend his kingdom everywhere you go today. What a great day. We'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.